In Lightwave, there are a lot of hidden things that aren't exactly obvious to the average user. In fact, I'm pretty certain that some users, myself included, could use Lightwave for years without knowing this stuff. Let's take a look at just one of many examples. In Modeler, there's a button called Statistics. Now to me, this is really deceiving because the functions that are tied to the window that appears after pressing this button it does a lot more than just tell you about your model. It can make the process of selecting specific things a lot easier. For example, I have skeletons in this character model. Let's pretend that I want to make a new character and I need to put these skeletons into their own layer so that they're easier to work on. Well, if you notice these little pluses and minuses in the statistics panel, these represent a way to select or deselect things. The statistics panel contents change depending on what selection mode that you're in. So if I wanted to select all of the skeletons in this character, I'll make sure I'm in polygon selection mode, click the plus sign next to skeletons, and all of the skeletons in the layer get selected for easy editing. Another big area where users will find useful concerns volume selecting, which is another not so obvious thing in Lightwave that is important to know about, especially if you do a lot of background work. How about this scenario? Pretend that this is a background to be used in a scene, and I want to be able to select these yellow triangles buried in the middle. You will eventually run into situations like this when creating detailed backgrounds in Lightwave where it can be hard to get specific selections without having to hide a bunch of stuff first or do uh, extra selections. This is where volume select is useful. But how to use it isn't exactly obvious. What you do is select volume, which is volume selection mode. Then what I usually do is start in the perspective viewport then use the other three views to fine-tune the volume selection display. In the statistics panel, click the plus sign next to polygons inside, go into polygon selection mode, and everything that was inside the volume selection range is now selected. Okay, so that's just a tiny insignificant fraction of the hidden things in Lightwave that can make your life a lot easier as a 3D artist.